Horrible debris is a, you know, a growing concern. There's 20,000 particles that are being monitored by U.S. Space Command uh, that we, we know where they're located and we can maneuver from them. Those are the large ones. Uh, the problem is the ones that aren't being monitored. Well, the speeds we're talking about, orbital velocities are roughly 17,000 miles an hour. Uh, so it's possible for uh, small particles to, to create a fairly extensive amount of damage. So there's an obvious need for spacecraft in our future spacecraft to understand where impacts occur and when they occur. We were investigating every possible way we could think of to detect uh, impacts. But we settled on the uh, piezoelectric film as being a, uh, a comparatively low tech but fairly uh, secure uh, way of determining it. So this material is thin, it's uh, lightweight, it's uh, flexible, and uh, that's its advantages, I think, is you can mold it to any shape you want. It's a sensor, and it's a, uh, it's a film. We use it in blankets to cover particular areas. So when the projectile comes in and strikes the material, at that time, it takes the kinetic energy of the projectile and turns it into voltage. And this is what we sensed. Because the sensor system is divided up into what we call pixels, uh, we can know which pixel, these are about one and a half inch by two inch type sizes. So we can know within the pixel where that in impact occurs. We have tested it with you know, various sizes and different speeds of projectiles. We've done it, everything from uh, BB guns and shotguns do uh, hypervelocity projectiles uh, traveling at, at orbital speed. The material itself, of course, being piezoelectric, doesn't need any power, which was a big asset. So it can sit out there and you can have a blanket basically as big as you want. It's for crew safety and for mission success for the uncrewed vehicles. Uh, our emphasis is crew safety here at Johnson Space Center because we have a lot of crewed vehicles, but uh, we also work on the uncrewed vehicles too. Uh, this technology will help both, uh, and I think we've been successful to find something that actually works and is as light as possible to get the job done. This NASA technology and many others are ready to be transferred to your business. Find out more by visiting technology.nasa.gov.